Hello, and welcome to Now You Know. I'm Carol Taylor. And I'm Mark Murray. Now You Know is a show that answers some of the questions you have about how or why the Township of Lower Marion does some of the things that it does. For example, I have here a letter from one of our residents. Wait, you have a letter? Yes, I have a letter. Wait, how could you have a letter? It's our first show. Like, no one knows they're supposed to write us, or where they write us, or what the address is. I have here a letter from one of our residents. It's from a little Johnny Wafer. Johnny wants to know, do traffic lights have light bulbs? And if so, do they ever burn out? Are the bulbs like the ones I have in my house? How do they replace them? And do traffic lights weigh a lot? Let me see that letter. Those are a lot of good questions. To be honest, I don't know the answers, but I do know who does. The Electric Shop Division of the Public Works Department. Let's go check it out. Wait a minute, you wrote this. We're now here at the County Line facility. Located at 51 East County Line Road in Ardmore. And it's here, Johnny, that will answer some of your questions. This is Mike Beck from the Electric Shop. Mike and the crew are responsible for the maintenance and care of all the street lights and traffic lights. Mike, can you go over a few tidbits about the street lights and how they operate? Like, sure. do they burn out actually? Sure. Um, this is your standard traffic signal, eight inch lenses. Uh, they, do, they do burn out just like your home uh, lamps and fixtures at home. They have a, a basic incandescent bulb, 150 watt, very similar to what you have at, at, at home. Um, you know, they're, they're just basically, they're wired in, uh, very, very similar to a lamp. Uh, it's a little heavier element than what you have at your typical house. Uh, life expectancy is about a year. Um, this is what we have through all traffic signals throughout, throughout the whole country. Now there's a new technology on the market. It's LEDs, light emitting diodes. That is this type. Uh, we're starting to replace everything in Lower Marine uh, with the LEDs. This is a self-contained waterproof unit. No repaired parts, nothing to touch. Um, big cost savings for the township on our monthly uh, electric bill. The incandescent is 150 watts. The replacement is uh, 18 watt. So that's the saving. And uh, we have 111 intersections, so there's a lot of wattage savings. We've saved several thousand dollars every month uh, by converting to the LEDs. Wow. And you said this was a self-contained unit, so Self. these individual bulbs right. don't have to be replaced? No, these diodes, nothing. When this burns out, they will take a zigzag pattern as they, uh, as they burn out, but that's a self-contained unit. We take it apart. There's no, no, no repairs. Just uh, oh, recycle these, and uh, you know we're starting to, everything will be, everything we buy today is all LEDs. Wow. So yeah, there are ones out there now that are both incandescent and LED. Right. Very similar to this one. When we made the conversions, it, we didn't think it was uh, cost savings to replace the ambers. The ambers only on for three seconds, mm -hmm. uh, whereas the red and green were 30, 60 seconds, depending upon the timing chart. So wow. um, this wasn't, uh, you know, it didn't have a payback as we have on the red and green. Yeah. I didn't realize how involved it was to install and maintain these, but now we know. Now we know. Yes. When we come back, we're going to answer some more of your questions, just like the little Johnny Wafers. Wait, you made him up. Stick around, you may learn something. <laughs>